Man. Let's see here. Okay. Um. I'm not really sure uh, how the sound is. Let's turn the game audio down that up a bit. Bam. Is it working? Are we going to work now? Are we working? We are working. All right. Jeez. Hey, everybody. Mount Kazai. That's right. I remember. So, actually, so I understand that we're here now. I'm actually going to head back to uh, Yahoo Toma. Take me back. It's scary here. Not, not ready. There's so much pressure. Uh, let's, uh... We'll go this way. We'll go back up top. I missed a thing. There's a thing that I missed. And I don't like missing things. Oh, goodness. Oh. Why am I so yawny? Oh, it's because I haven't had coffee yet. Good thing my coffee's brewing. You best believe I got my coffee brewing already. And their little magical, magic elevator right here. Their wind-powered elevators. Imagine, imagine if that's how elevators are actually powered, just wind-powered. That would I wouldn't get in elevators. You know what I mean? I'd be too terrified to get in an elevator. Absolutely not, not for me. Not for me. What is this place? What's this room? Open. Oh. What's this? It's a Yafutoma style bed. Maybe I'll just lie down for a bit. Rest up for a little bit. Oh, okay. So this is the inn. I hadn't stayed at an inn this whole time. There's that bird. I wonder what this blue bird is supposed to be. Maybe it's a symbol of their god or something. Our god is a giant bird. Well, there ain't... There ain't shit. I want to try and shoot them birds with my little moonfish catcher and catch me a bird. That's what I want to do. Shoot at some flamingos. That's what those are, right? Flamingos. That's your highness's room. <laughs> bow, bow, bow. Um... Oh, yeah. Well, never mind. I guess I can't do that now. This stupid chicken. Let's, uh... Let's get a little, little tub boat. Tub boat! Tub boat! Get in that tub boat. Uh, around, maybe? How have I not gotten that chest? Why have I not gotten that chest? 
We're riding the waterfall. Yeah! Where did that take us? We're somewhere... Somewhere magical. Oh, there's a, there's a girl over there. Hammering away. Did you see that? Let's, uh, let's go talk to this person. Oh, you must be the Westerners they're all talking about. I'm Kirala. I'm the best builder in the country. So what do you think of our town? I bet you don't see such fine structures in your country. You're right about that. What a difference between seeing something and only hearing about it. you really got a fine-looking town here. Ha <laughs> ha, do you really think so? Well, it sure warms my heart to hear you say that. Say, maybe I should go back west with you and visit your country. I could probably show you Westerners a thing or two that would really amaze you. <laughs> hey, what do you... What are you going to do about this place, then? It's still under construction. <laughs> Not to worry. This is my own house. I was getting ready. It was getting pretty old, so I decided to remodel. Well, then it's decided. I'll go back with you to your country and build all sorts of things for you. Incidentally, I have a little sister named Eurela. You might want to give her a holler, too. Ha-ha. <laughs> new crew member. And she has a... And she has a sister. Ooh. I hear a duck. You hear that duck? I heard a duck. Uh, what are these? Oh, baskets with giant rocks in them. Who's this? You know, sir, my big sister spends all her time worrying about how our princess is doing. Well, she should probably calm down and not worry about it. Because it's none of her business. Princess Brokey has really been down in the dumps lately. I wonder if it's because she's worried about her brother. Goodness me, why am I rattling on to a visitor from abroad... We've only met for the first time. Please pay no attention. Yeah, that's exactly what I did, is I paid no attention to whatever it was you just said. Because I don't know anything about it. Anything in here? There's a, a chicken. Coquita. Food, food. Hungry little bugger. What's this? It's almost like candy inside the small bottle. Don't take random candy-shaped looking things in random bottles, Vice. Hey, this looks like candy. <laughs> That's not candy. Ugh. Well, there's another duck. <laughs> hop on up here very good now where are we at okay and another tub boat another waterfall ah! ah! alright so the seaster my seaster she's over here in this place. Let's uh, pop this open. Boop. And there she is. Oh, you were here the other day, weren't you? Welcome back. Hi, excuse me, but would you happen to be Kirela's little sister by any chance? Yes, I am, but why do you ask? I thought so. Actually, Kirela has decided to join the crew of our ship as a builder. I'm wondering if you might be interested in joining our crew, too. M me? But unlike my sister, I'm not good for much of anything besides cooking. Cooking is a perfectly fine skill to have. How would you like to join our crew as a cook? Sh sure, okay. 
It's my sister's joining too. But are you sure I qualify for the job? Of course you do. You can make us all kinds of tasty Yafutoman dishes. All right. Um, I'll do my best. Thank you so much. Urela has joined your crew as a cook. All right. Let's uh check. I think no, 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 no. Change crew. That's what we were looking for. Okay, so we got Polly and Urela. Using crew command, she will replenish one character's MP. Using crew command, she will max out your spirit points. Maxing out spirit points. Robinson and Marco, we don't care about that. Uh, Builder, what does she do? She will replenish your ship's HP to full. That's insane. That's so awesome. Okay, so I'm missing one, two, three, four, four positions. One, two, okay, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen other members. Wah -wah. Soundtrack's fire. Okay, so there's a chest in there. How do we get in there is the question. Because I want all of the treasures. Not just some. I want all of the treasures. I want all of them. Cause I'm an air pirate. What am I? What's my standing at? What do people? Vice the daring. I'm daring. I dare you. To. Oh, that's the weapon store. Not worried about the weapon store. Let's go in here and see if we can open this door. I don't know why I didn't do this before. Open that. 3,000 gold. Worth it. Worth it. What did my ship have equipped? Anything good? Yam Yamato Spirit, Yamato Spirit. Uh, five foot cannon, serpent torpedo. Serpent torpedo. We don't need that. Let's um Yeah, I think that's I think that's it. But oh man, I feel like there's more uh, I, uh mm, we're gonna fly oops we're gonna fly around a little bit. We're gonna do some sailing around before we go and do this dungeon. Alright. Ooh. Ooh, something's tickling my nose. I don't know what it is. Let's see. We don't need anything from that place. We've already been at the... Oh, there's a duck. I heard it. Does this take me to my ship? This better take me to my ship. No. That over there takes me to my ship, though. The Delphinus can't fly at high altitudes, so while we're here, we may as well use Yafutoman ships. So is it going to force me? Oh, I wanted to fly around and explore. Uh, okay. And I can't board this one. Well, she it. Hey Jeff, how you doing? Good to see ya. Welcome. Maybe we'll stop in here real quick just to check. Have you completed your preparations? Oh yeah, he's the guy that takes me. Ooh, proceed to Mount Kazai. <laughs> Excellent. I appreciate the sub. All right, then. Let's get under the Mount Kazai. Underway. 
We are on our way to this place. I don't remember this dungeon very well. I think a lot of it we spend in a suit underwater and we move very slowly. And I hope Skies of Arcadia goes well. We'll be a bit lurky today, but have an awesome stream. Hey, you know what? I'm just I'm just glad to have you hanging out, lurking or not. I'm a I'm a bit of a lurker myself. <laughs> yeah, I like to lurk on your streams too. <laughs> Here we go, spinning, riding that. Well, it's not a pole, it's a rope. Whatever. Hop into your little suit, Vice. Your little Scuba Steve suit. Whoa, look at him. Scuba Steve, damn you. See how slow he moves? It's just like, ugh. There we go. Okay, I guess we're not in the suit the whole time. What's this? There's a thing there. There's a square. Maybe I gotta open a button or something. Oh, we got multiple directions we can go. What's this rock? It looks like some sort of switch. It is. Hit it. What does it do? It did something. Oh, floods this place with water. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? It looks like it triggered some sort of water release valve. Ah, I see. The switch is probably here to fill this area with water. Hmm. But why? There's a moonfish up there. Oh, I wonder if I got a... Yeah, I gotta fill this whole place with water. Yep. Oh. And now I need to figure out what the weakness is for this. Is it thunder or is it ice? Ice to meet you. Krill beast. Yeah, Fina's fine how she is. Enrique, man. Let's try, let's see how you do with purple. Do a little ice against the water enemies. Okay, 278, that's alright, I guess. And Fina's over there dropping spikes on heads. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of congested this morning. Whoa, Vice. <laughs> Whoa. Doing some serious damage. No, keep the yellow. So, oh, you defend, defend, defend. And then let's see what you do with yellow damage. Oh, Thunder is the clear winner in this one. Three fifty three. Level 30 for Ega. So yellow's the magic. Yellow's where it's at. We want yellow. Hey, Scarecrow. How's it going? Let's, uh... Yeah, okay. Bam. Put that yellow crystal in there. There we go. Yeah, way more damage. Forget ice. Thunder is where it's at today. Oh, they're they're getting a little accelerated on me. Uh, quicker. Uh, we're faster now. I'm still going to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> These krill hounds or krill hounds, whatever they are. Are you going to do it again? Oh, I'm super fast now. Too fast, cool. Ha! You're too slow. Kill it. Oh, no chili dog for you, my fast little friend. 
Good job, Enrique. He's such a... Oh, man, I just want to smack him because of that little outfit he's gone on. Like, what are you doing? Who dressed you? Who taught you how to dress yourself, Enrique? You look ridiculous. I'm a prince. I must dress like this. No. No, you don't. Oh, here we go. What are we doing here? I'm just dropping down to the random places, apparently. Oh, I don't like where I'm at here. Don't like this. I wonder if there's any treasures. Is there any treasure? If you're going to make me explore all this area down here and make me this slow, there needs to be treasure around every corner. Every single corner. And there's none down this one. And there's none down this one. And it doesn't look like there's anything down there either. <coughs> <coughs> Damn it. Nothing. Um, how about down here? No. Although that seems like it's the way I need to go. What are you even doing, Vice? Why why are you even down here? You just decided to jump down. And now I know there there ain't shit down here. So oh my god, he's so slow in this suit. He thought the ladder climbing was bad. Scuba Steve's suit is super slow. Okay, so I'm going to pop out here. Oh. It's literally right next to where I walked in, huh? Okay, I see. I see now. We got to kind of we got to kind of look down in the holes to see where we're going to end up. What do we got here? No oh, loopers and these things. Uh, goo loopers, go loopers. Let's get the krill beast. Let's uh, lambda burst. Yeah. Fire consume my enemies. Uh. Man. I'm sorry, I'll be right back. My nose is running. Man, I better not be getting sick. I don't get sick. Sickness is a mentality. It's a mindset. Man, yeah, I needed that. I needed that. I feel way better. Oh, no counterattack? Oh my god. I'm gonna get you, you son of a bitch. Don't you move. Smack it. Don't take that from these things. No. There we go. You kill that. It's it's got oh, it's critting everybody. It's a heck of a crit. I kinda want one of those lizards as a pet. Just that slow moving iguana looking thing. Name it Jose. Jose Sharptooth. That's what I'd name it. Was it? Was it fun, Aka? Do you like murder? Yeah, murder's fun. <laughs> uh, that looks like I don't want to drop down there. 
This looks like... <coughs> I don't want to drop down there. Does this look like that? Um, I have a feeling it... Hmm. Hmm. Betty. Oh. Ah. What we got here? Well, more of these slow moon iguanas. Damn it. Lambda burst them. Or did that not do much last time? I don't know. I stepped away to blow my nose. Lambda burst. Get that lambda burst counter up. How many times will we use it today? Oh, it does okay. It doesn't kill them, but... Chunks him down. Oh, and then he's going to make everybody fast. <gasps> Excuse me. Buh. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, Vice. Vice is too nice. <coughs> okay. Oh. Using some fire magic, huh? You little shit. Not bad. Not bad. Kill it. Yeah, overkill. All right. Murder's fun. <laughs> Aka, calm down. I want to kill some more. Okay. Uh, that one looks pretty good. Not gonna lie. What do we got here? Okay, that's a possible option as well. And this one is not an option. That one's not okay. So let's try this one. Get down there. Put on your little suit. Hop on down. Okay, where did this put us? Somewhere that we didn't want to be. Shoot. Okay. Well, now we can see down here that we want to jump down that one. All right. Remember our position on the map. Hey, Cole. Yesterday, Cole was a little evil piggy who's devouring the world for the sake of evolution. Who aren't you, Cole? You're an evil little pig on race stream. This wonderful scuba suit. Alright. So we know which one we gotta go on now. So we're gonna hop up here. And we want to... Nope. Nope. It's not over yet. Now it's a war against Kite. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you walked in, he's just like, put Cole in timeout. Uh, la no, lambda burst. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you might as well hit the krill beast. All right, my coffee's done. So while this plays out, you know what I'm gonna be doing.
Okay, I guess I need to wash out a cup. Damn it. Give me a sec. Saving murder was fun again. Geralt voice later with Ray saving the world. <laughs> will Ray will Ray actually save the world? I don't know. Is he the hero that we we need? Is he the hero that we deserve? <laughs> He's the hero we deserve. Kill the Krill Beast. <clears throat> Man, you guys are never going to want to play this game because of how many times I abuse Lambda Bursts. You're going to be like, I hate that move. It's all I ever did. The whole game. You just Lambda Burst every time. It's a good move. It's a nice, cheap, hit everyone skill that you get turn one. I don't want to go... Well, that actually was not as good, but... Everybody took a little damage, except for those stupid loopers. They never do. Nice. That's what I like to see. Love me some counter shots. You finish that thing off. Little spikes. I wonder how many more champs I need to give that thing. Kill it. Well, see, that's what you get. Been dicking around too much, Enrique. I tried. That well, you didn't try good enough. Why did I join your crew? Everybody just fucks with me. Well, it's part of the initiation process, friend. <laughs> People gotta be able to shit test you and if you can't take it oh this is not the right one oh, damn it. Mm, i thought i had it how disappointing man scuba steve I'm potato. Potato today. Potato traitor. The re potato traitor. Let's take our nice slow trek back up this little walkway. Let's take your time. What are those that are coming off of his hands? You see that? They disappear. They come in and out. What is that? Is he, oh, is those his little zippers? Are those zippers? They are They are zippers. Look at those. Yep. This keeps them sealed in. This thing's zeal, <laughs> zipped. Watertight. <clears throat> Watertight zips. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. This one. This one? This one. Okay, yep. Uh huh. Come on, big bucks, no whammies. Come on, bam. We got it that time. <laughs> Ooh, you want a little coffee ASMR? That was for you. Hope you like that. I think maybe that's what I should change that request to. Coffee ASMR. I know this do little sounds that I can make through the mic. It gets you all hot and bothered. Oh, oh yeah. Slurp that coffee. Mm. 
Take a big gulp of that water. Scream real loud into my ass. Are, are you sure? Yeah, do it. <laughs> okay. Well, enough about that. Let's hop back down and make our way back up that nice long hallway. Oh, not this way. Not that way. I feel like there's some down here, you know? But there's not. Because we looked. Right? We checked every nook and cranny down here. What? Nope, okay. I thought there was like an indentation in the wall. <clears throat> I was really feeling, hey, that's... BS making things difficult now. Don't hide my treasure like that. That's how I miss stuff. That's how I end up missing things. You can't move any faster, huh, Vice? It's okay. Are we in a hurry? We're not in a hurry. We've got plenty of time. Not in a hurry. So, so, I've mentioned this in, <coughs> well, actually, no, I don't think I have mentioned this yet. Friday, well, I know, I think, I think actually Tales of Arise is out today or tomorrow. Today's Thursday, today's Thursday. Um, well, Friday, uh, WarioWare comes out, the new WarioWare for, just for Switch, so, <coughs> Well, everybody's doing Tales of Arise. I'm going to do WarriorWare. So if you want to check that out, um, I'll be doing that. It won't be It won't be like a... It won't be the super early stream. This will be our normal stuff. It'll be Banjo or this. But, man, look at how many of them there are. Let's just jab at a couple. Um, but, yeah, I'm probably just going to do a one of, you know, just to show it off. We can explore it together. I love the WarioWare games. They're, they're so much fun. Plus, anything Wario, you know. I'm kind of a, a whore. A schlatt for Wario. He's one of my favorite characters of all time. Wario reminds me of my friend uh, Marcus. It reminds me of his dad, Robert. I don't expect any of you to know who he is, but Robert <coughs> owned a construction company called... Well, he still owns it. He's still alive and kicking somehow. But he owned a, a construction coffee. Hey, Savage. Yeah. A little coffee ASMR. But, uh, yeah, anyways, back to the story. He owned a construction company, and Marcus and I worked for him. We were his little laborers, his minions. This guy used to be a, a hell's angel back in the day. Um, He'd just done a whole bunch of bad stuff. He used to, <laughs> he used to cook up bi biker crank and stuff like that and just did a bunch of bad things with a bunch of bad people, you know? But, man, once you got to know the guy, like, he was actually really good for me. He was a good experience. He was a good person to experience, I must say. See, he was kind of a hard ass, but he also pushed you really. He pushed you to always do better and stuff like that at the same time. And it's not really, I don't know. I miss that old grumpy son of a bitch sometimes. Like, I, I work at Intel now, and... Like, Intel is so so different from all the other places I've worked at. You've been following for 18 days. Look at you. Look. 
Look at you go. Almost 19 days. Just one more hour. You'll get that. You're going to hit 19 days here pretty soon. Okay, so we hit that one. Now let's go over to this side. I wonder if I need to do that one over there first. And then this one. You know what? Who cares? Let's just see what goes on. I don't remember, so... Ooh. Oh, yeah, shit. We didn't use our... our Healing. Ah. Yep, that should do it. Should be pretty good. Well, maybe we'll do one more. Both of you do one. Yep. Okay, let's try this again. Attack. That. That. Attack. There we go. This is how the... How's the good intentions going? My good intentions. I have the purest of intentions at all times. <laughs> oh man, this is actually good coffee. You guys want to cram that coffee button as much as you want. Uh, this is good stuff. I killed it. It was blocking too. <laughs> oh, and it ran away. It made the smart choice. It's like, oh, you killed all my friends. I'm going to leave now. It's probably the smart, the smart, smart decision. Little looper. Little goo looper. Um, there better be some treasure. In this room, because we haven't opened a single chest. I'm jonesing, jonesing for some, some treasure. Okay. So I go up the side, hit the switch, it raises the bridge, and then I go and hit the other one across the bridge. Seems so difficult, game. Uh. Uh, uh, okay. Lambda burst. <laughs> and that one. How are you? How are you doing, Savage? What's what? What part of the world are you? Are you in? Because I see you almost at all times, I feel like. Like, I'll see you at this, like, early like this, but then I'll see you in the evenings, too, I feel like I've seen you. Or is it another savage? I don't know. I only know you. Savage bot. Takes place of real savage. Do good. I live in the U.S. Oh, okay. Very good. Kill it. These things can be annoying. I've lo I've rotated like three turns on one of these things once. It just didn't do anything. It just kept defending. And then it would we'd miss almost every time we swung at it. Things are the real monsters. Ooh, a moon robe. Do you wear that? Is this for Fina? Moon. Ah, uh, resist enemy magic spells. Isn't that what that does too? Look at that. Oh, two ninety one. Mm, I don't know. Our dodge drops quite a bit, and our hit drops quite a bit, but that's 20 against magic, and only drops one on our physical defense, that's pretty good, just slows her down, 
But she doesn't really dodge that much anyways. Fuck it. Moon robe. Yeah, but that's... Ooh, I don't know. The loss and the gain. Okay, so we lose 20, but we gain... Six. No, one. Eleven. 31 or whatever 36 I don't know loss armor never mind I can't math right now it's too early uh okay yep hit it yep see there's the bridge and then we're gonna have to go in our little monkey suit It is good if I hit affiliate before October. You'll hit it, don't worry. It appears that this switch is here to fill this area with water. It was here to fill this area with water. That's quite the observation there, Vice. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I was just talking about you the other day. I was like, where's Tom? I haven't seen him in a while. Because Shads and Zero just had to go to Croatia. No, we're not Cutlass Furying. What are we doing? Stop that. I felt like I needed some repenetration. Yeah. Came to the right place. Uh, Lambda Burst. Glooper. And why don't you hit that one? Yes, you came to the right place indeed. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's get that out of there. So, I've been playing a lot of Diablo 2 lately. And uh, just kind of getting in preparation for when the remake comes out. I feel kind of bad, though, because, like, I pre-ordered it a while ago, and then all these allegations came out about Blizzard, and, I mean, they're nothing new. Like, everybody's known about these things. Yeah, it's been a long time since I streamed. Yes. I haven't seen you in a while. I've been getting my morning Final Fantasy X fix from Jeff in the mornings this week. Let's see. Bought the expansion for Ghost of Tsushima, so I might play that on stream. Oh, Ghost of Tsushima. That's a fun one. That's a... That's... You mean... Bought the expansion. What do you mean the expansion? Is there an expansion out for that? I knew that they were doing that director's release for the PS5, but I didn't know about any expansion. And there's the multi the online multiplayer. Oh, the director's cut. Okay, yeah. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, I kind of want to get that too. I actually had a lot of fun playing that. I honestly, anything that lets you be like a samurai or a ninja, I'm usually going to be like, yeah, that's a great game. It doesn't matter. Just be like, yeah, there's a ninja in it. Don't even care. Fucking great game. It even includes developer commentary and art book. That's cool. This is a really pretty game. I bet that shit in like 4K looks amazing. I finished it two times now. Oh, wow. I only ever finished it once, but I definitely want to play through it again. These stupid little lizards. Don't even need a lambda burst. I'll just. Because there's only two. Get. Get them. Kill them. New Game Plus is worth it. Okay. Yeah, I bet it is, actually. And it's big, too. That's what I like. It's pretty big. It's a big map. The combat 
I mean, it has dumb AI. Yeah, it does have dumb AI, but it's still fun. Because sometimes, the, I mean, the AI for me got smart sometimes. Like, they would all just gang up on me. They knew exactly what they needed to do was just rush my ass all at once. Get them! And just the fact that I can I either choose between being stealthy, which, I mean, I like stealth. I'm pretty good at stealth games. I'm, I love Splinter Cell and stuff like that, Metal Gear and any kind of ninja, ninja game. Maybe we'll do the old Tenchu games on here sometime, too, because those are always great. Hard as shit games. Just, I just like ninjas. What can I say? I feel the stealth aspect is a bit overpowered. No, sure. It's still fun, though. I like games. I, sometimes I like games where it's just like, hey, you're this overpowered character. Go and slaughter. You know, sometimes that's fun. Like, uh, uh, did you guys ever play the game Prototype? There's Prototype 1 and Prototype 2. I can't remember the guy's name you play as. It's like Alex something in the first one. Those were those were fun games. And you're just this human being that's also got this these monster abilities. Yeah. yeah of course you did, Cole. Played Prototype 1 a bit. I mean, I think Prototype 1 was probably the best one, too. Like, Prototype 2 was pretty much just prototype one but you just play as a different character for the most part there wasn't really that big of a change in your abilities and the story was kind of just mm, meh oh mantoid uh cutlass fiori and then you can wait i did hit yeah i did sorry i potated for a second i will play some tenchu for me, the Infamous games nailed that aspect. Infamous game, uh, yeah. The first one was freaking awesome. First Infamous was really good. Oh, I also seen that they're doing a, a remake of Saints Row. Or is, is it Saints Row 2 or Saints Row 1? If it's Saints Row 1, I mean, that's awesome. Finished it like four times. <laughs> Yeah, I've I've played through that one a couple times too. I think it two or three times. Man, that 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 air that time is when um I was first going into the military when that came out. Everybody was playing that. Everybody was playing Infamous. I'm surprised that it hasn't been. I mean, they've got remasters of god of war 3 and that came around at the same time i want to say i think that's been on multiple platforms since then infamous second son yeah that one wasn't bad all the infamous games have been pretty decent you know the first one by far i think was the best one but yeah they've all been good But I kind of want to see more. I want to get an update on God of War since I mentioned that. I love those games as well. I never played any of the PSP games, any of the handheld ones, but all the console ones I did. I didn't beat God of War Ascension, though. I like the older God of Wars better. Yeah, like, man... I don't, you remember just playing the first God of War, you know, like that experience when you first, when you first experienced that game, you're just like, whoa, <laughs> this guy's badass. It was metal as fuck. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I had a friend over when I first bought that game and 
I passed out. He stayed up the entire night up until the morning playing that game. He's like, yeah, go to sleep. And he just sat in my room, just played God of War. And by the time I woke up, he was at the end of hell. I was like, holy shit, man. He's like, dude, this game's so good. <laughs> Aries on hard mode? No, I didn't even attempt that. Back then, back then I didn't go for too much of a hard mode challenge kind of thing. I just played games on normal. There were a couple games. I think I played Duke Nukem on hard, I, I suppose, and Doom 64. Wait, what am I doing? Why don't you alpha storm that thing and hit everything else on the way? We'll see how that goes. These things are so friggin' slow. Don't kill the shell. Also, I see what you mean just about just taking a sip of a piping hot drink. It's great. Yeah. Especially when you got a sore throat or something. Why didn't those all die at the same time? That was kind of weird. Now that transitioned. Mm. Makes me so, a little suspicious of this game. So in the past, this game has frozen on me. Not since we've streamed this, it hasn't. But when I used to play this when I was younger, and this is the same copy, I'm pretty sure... That was in rotation. To be, be careful about drinking piping hot drinks. Yep. Yeah, this thing used to just freeze mid-battle sometimes, and it would do weird things, and there'd be signs that it was going to do it too, and I would see it coming. Uh, let's go and no. Oh. Let's explore down here a little bit more. Hold on. Before you try telling me to go back up top. Before you try telling me what to do. Follow the river. Follow the flow. Oh, there's a switch. Look at that. Why am I so good? Savage has learned to like the burn. Yeah, just don't, just don't like damage yourself, you know, like feel the burn, but then don't get like blisters from something. <laughs> like heaven forbid anybody ever drinks anything that hot just because it's like, oh, I like it. That feels great. Like, are you sure? Yeah, man. You told me to. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> But it's what you do. Yeah, so you told me. No. Basically, i seen you. And that's all we do is we copy each other. It's funny, though. I notice my, my kids, they like to copy me a lot. And it's, it's very... Mm, what's the word I'm thinking of? There's a word for it. Oh, let's uh, attack... No, not you, Aka. Buff Vice. It's very eye-opening. Studies have shown that burning your throat with hot drinks increases probably the throat cancer by four times. Oh, no. Don't tell me stuff like that. I'm not too worried about throat cancer. I'm not a smoker or nothing like that. I used to when I was in the military. That was the only way you'd get a break, though. Like that's isn't that kind of weird? How you know if you did if you weren't a smoker, you would just be told to work through. You wouldn't get breaks. But if you were a smoker, you'd get a mandated smoke break.
Like they have documentation that says you can have a smoke break. But that's it. Cutlass Fury, that dude. Aka, what are you doing, girl? Girl, what are you doing down there? Fina? What are you doing? Let's, uh... Well, no, not Cupel Spike. He's a Sacrum Crystal. Kudos to you, man. Can't imagine being in the... Oh, man, it was... I was I was in the Air Force. I was a medic. It wasn't that bad. I worked in a surgical unit. I got to see some pretty cool shit. I did see a lot of people hurt, though, but, I mean... That's, that's life. People get hurt. Things happen. That's the that's the nature of the beast. Bad shit happens. Get a maker. That was this twenty twenty one. It's been over ten years since I joined. So long ago. Doesn't feel like it though. It's the weird thing. Uh, why don't you ladies do? Well, you should probably heal yourself. Enrique, you. S yeah. I know. I did a lot of. Started a lot of IVs on people and. Check vital signs, check patients in for surgical procedures, and worked with a lot of doctors and anesthesiologists. Well, anesthesiologists are doctors, but, well, most of them are. But, um, yeah, it was good. It was a good experience. I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot of things that I didn't want to see, too, though. Uh, a wind song orb. Ooh. It's a nice little piece of treasure. It'll sell for a nice chunk. All right. You know, and even after we beat this game, there's so much, there's, there's secrets that we can find. You know, there's a lot of stuff that we can do still even after we beat this. And I haven't forgotten about that secret boss for Dragon Quest V either. That's still in the back of my mind. That's just something I'm going to have to grind a while, and then I'll just hit you guys with it one day as a random stream of me killing the final boss. Hopefully. Hopefully I kill him. Uh, am I going the right way? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, there's a button. Oh. And stopped. I'm so done with my schoolwork for two weeks and counting. Oh, soon done. I don't have my glasses. Hey, Savage and Tom. Hey, Jeff. I'm soon done. Yeah, that's good, Cole. Get your schoolwork done. Learn as much as you can. Yo. Stupid oysters. Kill it. There you go. Crack its shell with some spikes. Oh, Vice. I really don't know how I feel about Vice. I have mixed feelings about Vice sometimes. Sometimes I like him, sometimes I'm like, okay, you little shit. Max HP by 30. Uh, how's everyone been? Seems like everybody's been doing pretty good. 
I know I've been doing good. Hit the button. There we go. I have vacation right after sick leave. Nice. <laughs> oh, speaking of vacation, so at Intel they have this thing where after you've been an employee for four years, they give you a month sabbatical, which is basically just like paid time off. And um, if you decide not to use it at that four-year point, um, you can hold on to it until you hit a seven-year point, and then you get two months off. Yeah, I do stream when I am done with good Geralt guy game with a ray banging... <laughs> <laughs> to be the hero of the people with his human fodder cannons um, but what people were telling me instead of going for the two month one you don't have to do that because you can get two months off even at the four year point if you just stack your holiday time on the end of it you know what I mean because I have I don't get holidays off. What I do have is free floating holidays that I can use. And I can also uh, cash them in. I can't save them. Like at the end of the year, they just expire if I don't use them. So I need to use them. Or I can cash them in. Which is pretty cool. So what people do is they'll do the first month and then just stack their holidays on the back end of it to extend it out another <laughs> month. Because you also get personal hours too. So you could make that happen. Which I think is pretty cool. Okay, these mantoids are going to be a bitch. We usually can't transfer the vacations d days to another year. No, we can't do that either. We can't transfer it from year to year. They expire at the end of the year. But we can cash them in at the end of the year for money. But yeah, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, that's even better. Yeah, I'll, I'll take money. I'll take some cash. Oh, I didn't use this. I didn't need a vacation. Well, then we're just going to pay you more because that's awesome. You worked hard. Damn right I did. Yeah, these things suck. They have so much health. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's eating me! That's not too bad. Fortunately, we got a really shitty manager. Yeah, and that's never, like... Shitty managers are such a drag. Like, it sucks having... So it's pretty stressful nowadays... I hate that. Yeah, managers are... Man, a, a good manager is a certain kind of person. And if you're not that type of person, then you're usually a bad manager. But, I mean, being the manager... <laughs> ass lickers, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. What are you doing? Licking some butt. Well. This is what you like, right? <laughs> is this how I get a promotion? Yes, I'll let you manage. Just just keep licking. Okay. All right, back up here. Uh, this doesn't feel right. I don't know. Maybe it is the right way. Maybe I'm doing the right thing. Yeah, because I went, I turned back after going this way. I went and checked this way out. I was like, mm, nope. Oh, 
what we got here? A bunch of okay, clams and these things. Let's hit the clams. I got an itch. Oh, okay. Clam, clam. Focus. Clam. Clam, 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 clam. And then we get to watch all of these lizards slowly walk around and try and attack us. <laughs> I'm going to refill my coffee. Oh, they frickin' silenced my team. They don't like that. They don't like being silenced. I don't like being shushed. Don't shush me. There we go. See? Enrique don't like it either. <laughs> Silence! I kill you! See? Enrique's pissed now. Uh, well, Vice, I was gonna have you... Well, I guess you can do Rain of Swords. Uh, uh everybody else just do their thing. Oh, no. I wanted Vice to go first. Leave the clam alone. Don't. Now I'm just doing Reign of Swords for one enemy. You guys. You didn't do it in the right order. Ooh, that's hot. 723. You missed my golem voice. Ray's heard it. You mean Smiggle? You stupid fat hobbitses. Uh, this way. Oh, oh, man, where am I going? I can imagine you have a good Smiggle voice. There we go. Man, let me just... No, I don't want it to go away. I want it to go big. See, it looks like I missed a chunk. Oh. These encounters. Am I right? <laughs> Kill it. Yes. I like a raw and wiggly. All right, he put it to sleep. And that one's dead. All right. That was fun. All right. Now everybody's in her 30s. Oh, this way. Come on, camera. Cheese and rice. No, I did get it. Okay. Damn it. I don't feel good. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't feel right right now. 
My gut's telling me I fucked up. But maybe that's just my gut. Maybe my gut doesn't know what it's talking about. It's just like, no, give me more coffee. Uh, yeah, Carlos Fury, that guy. And then let's focus, focus. No, 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 no. We're just gonna focus, 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 and we're just gonna go crazy next turn. Everybody's doing special moves. Everybody's doing something crazy. Power up. Pirate's Wrath. I haven't done that yet. That's his ultimate move. Um, uh, Electrum. I think that's a straight line like that. Let's see Vice's final finale move. Supreme move. No oh, shit. Oh my god. What? What? Talk about overkill. Yeah, take that, you cur. Mm. Leave it to the prissy pants, fancy rich kid to use things like, mm, you filthy cur, you peasant, disgusting poor person. Enrique, take it easy. There we go. Kill it, Fina. Smash it with your little spikies. The coffee gets better and better with every sip. Ooh. These high encounter rates. See, there's, there's, you can't run in this game. The game doesn't like it when you run. When you run, you lose the squash bucker points, the things that give you a good rating. Well, oops, excuse me. If you run, then you lose points, and you get a cowardly. I think if you run like fifteen times or something like that, then you you get the coward label. Everybody just knows you as a coward. Isn't that mean? No, you need to fight things. I don't wanna. Well, then you're a coward. <sighs> okay, have we have we raised the water level enough? I don't know. Oh yeah, we have. That's why. But how do we get up there? my question ow my knee knee just popped get in there vice oh my god look how much hang time they put on that Anything down here? No. Wait, what was that? No. Uh, 
Oh. So I was saying not too long ago that I was going to do uh, Space Station Silicon Valley. And uh, I have my cartridge of it, and I haven't tested it out on my 64 yet. I know it works on the 64, but I was trying to emulate it the other day just because to get it to run 60 frames kind of thing. And man, that game does not like to be emulated at all. Um, uh, nah, we'll do the same thing we did last time. That worked out well. Uh, like the so I I got into the game, and the cutscenes only had like one character in it, and the other characters were cut out, and there was no background. It was just open black space. with little stars sprinkled out of it. And then when I finally uh, landed into a level, the ground would disappear. And so it was just like, I can't, I can't even play this on here. So we might have to just settle for hooking my 64 up to this capture card and doing it that way. And then I also got another game that came in the mail that we're going to play PsyOps the Mindgate Conspiracy that's a fun one I love that shit when I was young I don't know if any of you played that one but as an elite American psy operative soldier, combat, combat a terrorist movement using your extensive psy powers along with traditional military weapon combat. So, like, you get guns and stuff, but then you also have, like, telekinetic powers and you can light things up. It's like Psychonauts, kind of, but it's shooting and violence. and But it's, it's silly, too, because it's a janky game. And silly things will happen. And the AI is pretty dumb it also has this really bad auto aim feature that ruins your shots yes Cole knows Enrique Enrique get that one I have that game too it's a fun one isn't it I don't remember if I ever beat it as a kid. I think I just had too much fun killing stuff. <laughs> so. I seen it for like 15 bucks the other day. I was like, I'll get that. Why not? I had a fun time with that. I've also got a bunch of GameCube games. Like, not just guys. Like, I got Metroid Prime. Uh, Metroid Prime Echoes. Uh, Mega Man Command Mission, Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, uh, Baton Kaitos, and then Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. The GameCube remake of Metal Gear Solid. Ooh, there's a cham. Get it, get it, get it. Where's that cham at? Get that delicious cham. Let's eat that right meow. Ugh. Still a spike. Mm. That seems like I want to go this other way first. I don't know. Sometimes I don't trust games because they, if you go to a certain point, you'll get locked into just sticking with it and not being able to do anything for the rest of the dungeon. RPG. 
is not yeah come in it's a mega man rpg yep ray wants me to stream it he says it's really good and we'll get to it at some point we've got a long we've got a long road ahead of us okay Terrible bite. He's eating Aka. And then he spits her out because she's sour. Tuh, you stink. Let's use Pirate's Wrath. Oh, you can't? Can't focus, huh? You can. And you can. Maybe we can get enough to get a second one. Probably not, because Aka's not being a good partner right now. We'll see. We'll see how much the team recovers. We'll at least be able to do a Cutlass Fury. We're still rocking that dolphin flag. We'll rock that throughout the entire game. You can change your flags at some point. But we're sticking with the dolphin flag. I wish the dolphin had, like, cannons and stuff sticking out of it. <laughs> Fifteen? And then you do Royal Blade. Want to become famous? No, I don't want to become famous. Oi, Ber, Genop, Zoom, whatever your name is. Thank you, Cole. Always trying to tease me. They're always trying to tempt me with that fame. Come on, you want to be famous? Just pay some money. Ugh. Yes, please appeal to the sleaziness. That is my need for fame. I like how all the ads nowadays try to just tempt you into doing bad things. Moonberry. All right, let's see here. We need Enrique to... Learn something. No! I need another one. Shit. I thought I had another one. I thought I had one already. I'm glad I went this way, though. See? I was like, I need to check the other way. I'm smart. I know how to play games. No problemo. I appreciate you. Appreciate you being here. Keeping those filthy bots out of here. Do you really think there's somebody out there that that works on? Like, these bots exist. Because obviously people have clicked on it. It's probably little kids that are like, I'm going to be a streamer. Ah, my parents let me do whatever. And then their little potato brains, they see that. Want to become famous? Yeah, I do. I'm going to click that. Give us your card. My mom has one. I'll go get it. Uh... Hold the phone. What's wrong with Vice? What is he doing? Magic? I don't think I've seen that move ever work. Whatever it does, I do not know. Oh, Enrique, you didn't kill it. 
still can't use vice. I think it works. There are plenty of people that get baited by bots. Yeah, I suppose so. Hey, Skeletor. I just don't... I don't know. Yeah, there's nothing this way. Okay. Now we'll go this way. I think there are lots of people that start streaming on Twitch with the intention of this going to be my career. <laughs> Who's the crazy person to give Cole moderative abilities? That's pretty funny. I gave him a sword, and look how well he's done with it. Oh, he's collecting. He's collecting swords for his army. This is how I'll. This is how I'll accrue weapon weaponry for my soldiers. Through gifts. Look at these. What are these things? Look at this thing. Of course I go and look at it and there's a fight. Bam. Oh, it's the things. Shit. Shouldn't have gotten near it. You already know what we're going to do. He's collecting bodies too for an army. Oh, yeah, Ray was supposed to give you your power back, wasn't he? And he's like, I'll do it tomorrow, and then watch. He streams today, and he didn't do it. Then you can yell at him, make him feel bad. Stop draining me. That's BS. I... Show you Pirate's Wrath and Marina Swords. Did you abuse your sword in race stream? No. As soon as we entered race stream yesterday, we just started timing each other out. And as Cole stepped in, like preemptively before K Cole came into the chat, uh, Kite timed him out. He's like, Cole, for when he gets here. And then Cole pops in, is like, hello. And then just bam, timed out. <laughs> and it started a war. <laughs> it was pretty good. It's pretty good war. Uh, cleanse all allies of adverse effects. That's what we want. Yeah, we wanted that first. Now our thing will be stronger. <laughs> Cole was like, you son of a bitch! <laughs> it was funny. He'd never been so mad in his life. <laughs> oh, we're getting timed out. I didn't do anything wrong. Nice. Dead. Dead. I hope it's dead. Should be dead. That's a sweet move. Oh, yeah, it's dead. What branch of the military were you in? I was in the Air Force. Oh, oh, he stoned him. Oh, no. Um, focus, focus. You're going to cleanse. Right on, I was in the Marines. Oh, very good. I like Marines. I made a lot of friends with them. I know a lot of other Marines, too. Fistleb, he's a, he's a Marine. Was a Marine. 
Oh, once a Marine, always a Marine. It is war against Kite today. <laughs> You're going to abuse Kite all day? Uh, I don't like this whole stoning thing that this guy's pulling. Glad I went into the military, though. You know, it's probably one of the better things, one of the better choices I made for my life. I did that right out of high school. That's all that did, huh? Don't turn to stone. Good. Cutlass Fury, that thing again. And let's all just bash on it. No, what I didn't, when I went in, I did the same. I'm glad I did it as well. Yeah, I went in open general. I didn't go in with any job guaranteed. I just went in. Um, I was told that, you know, more than likely if I were to do that, I would end up becoming like a MP or security forces is what we call it in the Air Force. But uh, that's not what happened. I was I was actually thinking, all right, cool. I'll be a cop. I'll give it a try. And uh, instead, I became a medic. Military chose that path for me. I don't regret it either. Like it was, it was really good. I had a really good time. Met a lot of really good people. Let's hit this button. See what happens. I wanted to work avionics, but my ASVAB score was so high they made me IT. <laughs> well, yeah, that's I guess that's a good problem to have, yeah. Oh, there was one guy that when I went and did my ASVAB, he got like a ninety-eight. And the guy was like, dude, you can have whatever job you want. He's like, that score high enough to be a scout? And the guy's like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, dude, you could be like a nuclear engineer in the military with a score or ASVAB score of 98. And that guy just wanted to go be a scout. I had a friend that took the ASVA four times and could never get higher than 30. said, damn. That's rough. Okay, we're going this way. We're not hitting that. We're going to go this way and check out what's in here. I think he ended up in ordinance. Oh, gotcha. My coworker. He was a EOD in the Air Force. One of the guys that's on the response team I'm on. There were actually a couple guys on base that I made friends with that were EOD in the Marines. Uh, Michael Thomas. Thomas was his last name. Michael was his first name. Really funny guy. He was he was, he was a badass. He he kind of like was shaped like Baloo the bear. Yeah, he was he was tall and he just had that big belly. But he was very quick. He was a black belt in judo. And I watched him from a sitting, cross-legged, drunk. Some guy walked by him and murmured something to him. And he instantly popped up. I was like, what would you just fucking say? 
and like he didn't even push he didn't even use his hands to push him up he just went from a cross-legged position and then just rose up and just had the momentum of his body carry him upward (laughs) i've never seen a move so quick in a like ever like the fuck did you say and then his wife came for flying from behind him it's like what are you doing you got a problem huh Instantly put herself in between her and him. But that's just because she knew that he was going to kill that guy. (laughs) There we go. Taking these guys out. Yeah, I know. EOD guys were coming into the hospital pretty frequently. Those guys were always getting hurt. ACLs getting torn, shoulders needing shoulder bl- sh- rotator cuffs getting torn, all kinds of stuff all the time. Those guys, and then like your special operators like TAC P's and combat controllers, they came in a lot too for ACL repairs and shoulder repairs. Um, on the weekends. So I was stationed at Eglin Air Force Base in Florida. And uh, so during the week, I worked in a surgical unit. And on the weekends, I would volunteer in the ER to go on, uh, you know, emergency runs. I get that EMT experience. I hit that right. Yeah, I did. And um, a lot of the time, what we ended up doing was go down to a Herbert Field, Hurlbert Field down the road. And that's where they have a lot of... Uh, operators there's special operators do a lot of training there and so we'd be on standby with an ambulance because whenever those guys got hurt we'd just rush them to the hospital and anytime those guys would get hurt it was always over something stupid they would try and show off or they would do something dumb like there's one guy they were doing their they were getting their jumps in one day and they're doing some high altitude ones and uh, one of the guys thought it would be a good idea to try and land on the ambulance. And he came in way too fast, and he hit that ambulance so hard it snapped both of his femurs. Your big thigh bones. Just fucking both of them. Sound like a couple M80s going off. Oh, we don't want to be in here yet. Getting ahead of ourselves. But it seems like we found it. Which isn't good, because we, the moonfish... What's this door? The room on the other side of this door is probably filled with water we poured in before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we don't want to go in there. Thanks, Vice. You stopped me from killing us all. Um... Who hasn't used any magic? Vice doesn't really need to use magic. So we can use him to heal. Let's go ahead and give Enrique a little bit more. There we go. Top him off completely. Oh, a save point. Let's uh, save. We leveled up twice in an hour and a half. Going deeper and deeper. Whoa, so shiny. Oh my god, could this thing move any slower? It's like the hang time when we jumped off that high point in the suit. He just floated there for so freaking long. I am the most buoyant of boys. Oh shit. The cloister. Oh, it's a turtle. All right. Boss fight time. Doodle. 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 Okay, yeah, I see it. Jesus. Uh, 
that make everybody faster, guard, attack. Steel skin. Of course, it's a turtle. Why wouldn't it have ability like that? Well, I'm glad I didn't. Yeah, we'll just spend this turn buffing. Yeah, good job, Enrique. Um, attack? Is it still encased in steel? No. Give that to Enrique. That he swings. Oh, vice. What do you got to be missing like that? Come on. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Seven. All right, we got another hour we can keep going for. Ice storm barely even phased us. Uh, focus, focus. Uh, sacrum crystal, and actually no, no, yeah, we're fine. Maybe. Focus. You already know what we're going for. I'm going to be pissed, though, if that thing uses steel skin. I should probably beat some sense into it so that way it uses... Or as long as I go in front of it, right? It should be fine. We'll see. Sacrilege. Oh, it's super healing. Whatever, we've hardly done any damage. Yeah, nice waste. Nerd. Pirate's Wrath. And Royal Blade. Oh, yeah. We're going to jack this thing up for a minute. Get it, Enrique. No, even when this coffee's cold, it's good. All right, a thousand damage. Very good. Oh, she didn't get countered with bubbles. Bubble beam. Get it. Nail it. Bam. Bam. Nice. I'm off. Okay. Thanks for stopping by, Jeff. I'm off out now. Have a great stream and a great day, all. Thanks for swinging by. It's good to see you. Uh, Tortigar. Let's let's focus again. Let's get another one of those shots in. You should do that, and we'll focus. We might beat it down a little bit more. I think that's a good idea. Smack it a little more. Very good. Very good. Everybody charge up. Attack. Counter. Yes. Oh, the music changed. You know what that means. Royal Blade. Oh, somebody's getting countered. With bubbles. Oh, Vice is getting countered. With a rubber neck. Oh, hit him with some spikes. There you go, Enrique. 
I wonder if we'll kill it next turn. If not, we'll definitely put a big old dent in it. Yeah, I think we're going to kill it next turn. Unless it does something silly. Does that have an effect? No, it doesn't. Good. It's dying now. Oh, son of a bitch! It knew! It knew! Ah. Uh. I'm refilling my coffee. It's not dying now. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, Natty. This fucking thing. We'll just do this. No. Ah, everybody. Everybody attack. You attack. You heal. You attack. Oh. Is it just going to keep abusing this now to drag this on? It's trying to survive now. It's no longer trying to kill me. It's just like, no, please. Now it's dying. Oh yeah, dying now. Or no more want a gamelon reward. Oh, I just haven't activated it. Hold on. Where is it? There. I started it. Two thousand. All right. So yeah, thirty days. If we get fifty k in thirty days. Mask of Gamelon. Drill nose. Moonlight robe. All right. Want a Gamelon, not mask. Oh f shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. One day I'll get it right. One day. <laughs> so this is the blue crystal. We finally found it. Leave it for the meme. Okay. <laughs> because that's been a recurring thing. Because I said Mask of Gamelon before, and then I think Ray corrected me, or everybody corrected me, like, hey, it's wand. Dumbass. All right, so this is the blue crystal. We finally found it. Grab it. Get it. It's so beautiful. Vice, that's another crystal. You know what that means. It's time to celebrate. Yeah, it's time for our secret high five. Actually, let's include Fina on this one. Oh. Oh, did you rage? You rage at Star Ocean? 
but I don't know what to do. Oh, don't worry about it. Just give it a try. Yay. You received the blue moon crystal. The boss was pretty easy. Why were you raging? Were you just was there a boss that was just cheating you? If you ever want to head back to Yafa Tuama, let me know. Let's head back. Climb on board. Bosses are no problem. Okay. The fucking regular enemies. <laughs> I wonder if... No, I can't. Never mind, because I haven't got the cool engines yet. And I'm pretty sure at this point you're further than I ever got in that game, so. The soulless gaze of the models really got to me. Oh, wait, we just got a robe. Let's check it out. No, not super move. Name it. Limited healing items and lack of healing characters. Yeah, that doesn't help. Moonlight robe. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get that dodge up. At a decent level, at least. Yeah, not having a healer is not the best. Get up there. I usually always try to have if there's ever a game that lets me like create my own characters and whatnot, I usually always try to at least have one healer on my team. Like usually like for Dragon Quest three or Dragon Warrior three, I usually go my hero, a female fighter, a thief, and a cleric. And when you have a healer you have to play them you have to play as them to heal. Oh, they don't there's you can't just set them to ah uh, I see. You have done exceptionally well. No one in Yafutoma has seen the Maga, Maga Sphere since the days of the Old World. You are the first to make it back alive from the depths of Mount Kazai. Oh, wait. How can I repay you for risking your lives to recover it? Well, as we mentioned earlier, we were wondering if it would be alright if we borrowed it. Hmm. But it is the symbol of royal succession. I would like to keep it in my possession at least while you remain in Yafutoma. The AI is so jank there's no healing option tactic. Um, sure. <laughs> yeah, see Dragon Dragon Warrior games have that at least. Symbol of royal succession, huh? That makes sense why they want to keep it. Mogi, you're Lord Mikado's daughter, right? So does that make you the successor to the throne? Um. Mm -hmm. uh. Well, thank you for retrieving the Maga Sphere. Let us begin the preparations for the feast. Make yourselves at home and enjoy the festivities. All right, that's more like it. I can't wait to taste the gourmet cooking of Yafutoma. Man, that sounds so good. We would be honored to join you, especially Aka. Mm hmm. Princess. Hmm. Taking a break from SO3, though. Tonight is Monster Hunter and then Tales of Arise until I beat it. Jesus. <laughs> Why are you taking a break? <laughs> oh, yeah. What time are we doing that? At 5? You must be very tired. You are welcome to stay in the royal guest house tonight. Okay. Thank you for escorting us. That was some of the best food I've ever had. 
and for some reason I pictured those eating sticks to be much bigger. It took me a while to get used to them, though. <laughs> eating sticks. I'm very happy that you enjoyed yourselves. <laughs> so the Westerners do have a sense of taste after all. I came here to personally thank you for retrieving the Magathir. I will be sure and take care of it when it is passed on to me as soon as Mogi and I are married. I will never marry you. And as long as Dago is alive, you'll never be king. Have you forgotten that Prince Dago has been exiled for treason? <laughs> I find it very unlikely that a traitor would ever become king. Mogi? Okay, that's it. Huh? Enrique? Enrique's like, don't worry, everybody. I've got this. I don't know your motives, but this is not how a nobleman treats a lady. If you insist on insulting her, then you will have to deal with me. You think you could push me around just because you got the Maga Sphere back? I'm going to tell my father on you. Look at him. Little, little bitch. Little bitch boy. Quivering. <laughs> Thought you were going to beat Banjo. I am going to beat Banjo. Don't you worry about Banjo. We're going to beat Banjo. I'm sorry you felt that you had to defend me like that. I didn't mean to put you in that position. No, no. That's quite all right. Where I come from, we have codes of honor on how a lady such as yourself should be treated. Well, honestly, not many people follow that code anymore. Prince Enrique. But Miraji spoke of an exiled prince. Do you know what he was talking about? I want that abomination of a game to end. <laughs> it will, don't worry. All we're doing now is just collecting the jiggies, and then we'll kill Grunty, and then it'll be done. And then we'll either go to Space Station, or we'll go to PsyOps. If Space Station doesn't work, then we gotta go to PsyOps. I already tried emulating Space Station. I haven't tried using my actual 64 in the cartridge. So if the cartridge in the 64 works, then we're in business. Ooh. Somebody's in love. In love. Those Westerners, they'll pay for speaking to me like that. <laughs> well, what do we have here? Eh, who are you? Beliza, what are you doing here? Shh, I heard everything. My name is Beliza, and it appears that we have a common enemy. <laughs> They're plotting on us. Good morning, Vice. Did you sleep well? Yeah, I slept like a rock. That was my first time sleeping on a floor mattress uh, thing. Ha ha ha, I see. I am glad you were comfortable. Lord Mikado, an emergency. Black ships have surrounded the city, and what appears to be their flagship is attempting to dock at our harbor. What? Black ships. Oh, no. It must be the Armada. Vice, let's hurry back to the port. Oh, yeah, it's it's air pirate time. Father. Yes, yes, I know. The snakes. Those snakes in the grass. Treacherous snakes. I don't like Weasley little villains like that. There's people like that that actually exist. 
No, sir, I don't like them usually. Oh, shit. They've got my ship surrounded. No! Bullies in Vigoro? Well, well, hello there, handsome. Haven't seen you in a while. Hey, Red. Looks like fate has brought us together again. Ah, oh, no, what's he doing here? It's so cute how she pretends that she doesn't want me. Come aboard my ship. Maybe the two of us can rock the boat. Vigoro, please. We are in the presence of Prince Enrique. Prince Enrique, I trust you are in good health? If you are wondering how we got here, we blasted a hole in the stone reef near Ixataka and traveled west. Our goal is the same, my prince. We also seek the blue crystal. What? Beliza, do you plan to burn down Yafutoma as well? Relax, handsome. As I told you before, I'm against unnecessary destruction. We have no intention of fighting with you. We were merely planning to dock and speak with the king of these lands. You're wasting your time. King Mikado is an honorable man. There's no way he would strike a deal with the value in Armada. We'll see about that. Everyone has their limits, their codes, their morals. But everyone also has a weakness. If you find that weakness and exploit it, those limits, codes, and morals seem to fade away. I'd love to chat longer, but I have an appointment with the king. Stay out of our way. Mm. Vice, should we stop them? Wait and see what happens. Sorry, but there's nothing we can do right now. There's no way we can take on all these soldiers. We can't even get to the Delphinus right now. Belize and Vigoro are here as imperial representatives. Attacking them during a diplomatic meeting would make us criminals. <laughs> Give me burgers. Let's return to our quarters. They will, we will wait until they have concluded their talks. All right, Enrique. The guy's stroking his beard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tiger, 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 tiger. No, I will never let the Valuans occupy Yafutoma. But to King Mikado, you do realize that your country's pitiful army wouldn't last a day against the Armada. To prevent unnecessary bloodshed, I recommend that you surrender. <laughs> birdie, 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 birdie. Tiger. <laughs> We will never surrender. We will never hand Yafutoma over to a band of bloodthirsty warlords like yourselves. We are protected by the Blue Moon. In the past, whenever our country was threatened, the Blue Winds came to our aid and saved our lands. <laughs> My nipples are like milk duds. <laughs> if you attack us, the winds will blow you into the Dark Rift. Valio will never occupy Yafutoma. Do you hear me? Never. I'm sorry you didn't see things our way. It appears that this meeting is at an end. Best fix for the continuity errors in any movie ever. <laughs> yeah. Then I will gain possession of Yafutoma by my own means. Banana na na na. Neo. Banana na 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 na. Sporin. What sort of treachery is this? Hi, Natty. You missed me going metal yes mental yesterday. <laughs> do you not? If you do not keep quiet, you'll have be a head shorter. Mirage, you traitor. Beliza, in accordance with our meeting last night, this country will fall under the rule of the Valuant Empire. Kangan, what are you saying? Taco Bell, Taco Bell, product placement with Taco Bell. 
<laughs> King Mikado, as Lady Melisa stated, we have no hope of winning a war against Valua. To save our people, we shall usurp your power and assume your role as leaders of Yafutoma. Wow, Melisa, I'm glad we're on the same side. Don't relax yet, big guy. Not while the kid is still around. Take King Mikado prisoner and find those air pirates. It seems they've been talking forever. Well, Vice, you know how formal these diplomatic talks are. It takes forever for them to decide who gets to sit down first. <laughs> Everyone, quickly. You must get out of here. Princess Moigi, what happened? King and Mirage have betrayed us. My father has been taken prisoner. It was Belize's doing. What? Beliza, it figures, she probably met with those two before the meeting and had the whole thing planned out. Vice, what should we do? Save Lord Mikado now. What do you think? We have to go rescue the king. Ah, oh, shit. That's impossible. Enemy soldiers have already taken the palace. We have no time. Quick, follow me. Oh, well, I missed that opportunity. We can escape from the palace. This way, hurry. Uh, that way or that way? I'm gonna go this way. Ha ha. Oh, nice. Full heels. I like full heels. Ooh. Just get me back to my ship. Just get me to my ship. That's all I want. Oh, we're going up into the clouds. Wow, incredible. I can't believe how high we are. Yeah, the powers of the blue moon are amazing. Does she have the crystal? We will be safe here. It's great that we escaped from the guards, but now what do we do? There is an ancient temple on a small island to the north. My brother, Dago, should be there. What? You have a brother? Yes, he is the true heir to the throne. A long time ago, my brother directly disobeyed my father's orders. He was exiled from Yafutoma and sentenced, sentenced to live on the island. Marooning him on an island was kind of harsh, don't you think? My brother had a tendency to go out sailing on his own and disregard his duties as prince. But I don't think that my father should have disowned him. Yeah, that's pretty hard. It's, it's a bit much. I think that Miraji and Kangan convinced my father to exile him. With my brother out of the way, they have a chance of taking over Yafutoma. Those little Weasley motherfuckers. That makes sense. Vice, it looks like we have no other choice. It looks like we're going to have to rely on Dago. Yeah. Princess Mogi, do you not worry. We will save the people of Yafutoma and your father. Prince Enrique, thank you. You can reach my brother's island by heading north from here. Hmm, yes. Oh, one of these. Okay. Uh, this one. Man, that took that long. Gotta go later, everyone. All right, see you later, Natty. Hope you have a good day. Doing whatever it is you're gonna do. We're. Oh, there's the fight. I was like, where is it? When is the battle? I 
Oh, look at these guys. Ten cool. Let's hit him with a lambda burst. See how that does for us. Come on. Come on. Take him out. Or I should have just saved up for Reign of Swords. I don't know, Lambda Burst did okay. Ooh, a speed potion, huh? Work probably, Earthman. I don't know. He'll say that. And then he'll just start streaming sometimes. Uh, that one, yeah. Ooh. Critted me, little shit. Nice, Aka. Very good. Can't move my mouse at the slightest. Which includes me bumping my computer table. Oh. There we go. And then everybody can just attack this guy next turn. Get him. Damn, Enrique's taking some hits this fight. Because the game knows he's a little bitch. <laughs> huh, yes. Sacro's crystal. Um. Yeah, just do the Sacro's crystal. Bam, bam. Uh, yeah, we're good. Got a nice long hike up this way. Where's that tasty cham? Nice. Still just a spike. Come on. More of these assholes. All right, well, one, two, three, four. And then next turn, we'll do Reign of Swords and kill all of them. Speed potion. Okay. Take your speed potion. See what good it does you. Tasty. Let's see what time we got. 6.30... Tell me when you end so I start then. All right, I'll let you know. Probably not going to go for much longer. I got to get my, my kids up and ready for school here in a little bit. Good old Reign of Swords to finish him off. Nice. All right. 
Sacker's Crystal. Man, a long, long trek. Oh, and the controller was vibrating too. Is there another cham or a moonfish? I don't remember they're vibrating for moonfish. Why don't we just do this? If we do it this way, it'll go by faster. Because then we don't have to worry about my guys swinging. And if this kills everybody, then we should be good. Do we see you later today? Uh. Well, yeah, tonight's the Monster Hunter collaboration. And we're doing that like two hours sooner than what we normally do it just because Ray's got to work at 7.30. So we're going to start at 5 Pacific time. That's usually like an hour after Mo starts. Okay, that does kill as long as they're not blocking. And that guy was blocking. Let's get him. No, oh, he's critting people. Nice. Uh, that was easy. Blah. Sacra's crystal. Wait a second. I felt vibrations. I, mean, I guess it was just the fight. Oh, there's words on here. There's something written here in Yafutoman. No, it's probably the name of the shrine, if it is a shrine. Jumping to conclusions, are we, Vice? Let's open this bad boy up. Yeah, two in the morning here. Ah. Westerners, it appears that we meet again. Oh, not them again. What are you doing here? This is the headquarters of the Ten Quo. It was very foolish for you to come here. The time has come. <laughs> halt. Oh. Yao Mao. Who's there? Lord Dago. These are the Westerners that dared to defy us. They came through the Dark Rift. I'm Vice of the Blue Rogues. You're the leader of the Ten Quo? Dago. What? He's your brother? Huh? This is Prince Dago? Mogi, how have you been? I never would have thought that you would bring foreigners to my temple. I never thought I would either, but what are the Tenquo doing here? A long time ago, the twins challenged me to a fight. They wanted my sword, so I beat them senseless. Ha! <laughs> I am up always. Yes, I know you are. And for some strange reason, they pledged their loyalty to me. I've been their leader ever since. And I figured as their leader, I could control them a little. So they'd stop attacking everyone. Besides, who else do you know that has twin bodyguards? <laughs> Mogi, is he really your brother? It's hard to imagine that the two of you are related. I know he's a prince like Enrique, but it seems like that it seems that princes in Yafutoma act differently than princes in Valua. But what is the purpose of your visit, Mogi? Has father changed his mind? Dago, he... Huh? What's wrong? Something happened to him? Oh, it seems he still cares about his dad, at least. Oh, he looks pissed. Kangan, that little runt. How could he backstab our father and hand our country over to the Valuans? Dago. Mogi, I'm sorry. If I was still there, this would have never happened. When I was exiled, I welcomed the freedom. I disregarded all of my duties and did whatever I wanted here in this temple. But now my people need me. I must go back there and reclaim my title as Prince of Yafutoma. Oh, we got Simba over here. 
advice. I can't thank you enough for saving my sister. Now I must get ready for battle. I will fight against value and give Yafutoma back to the people. I would be honored if you'd fight alongside me. Uh, of course. Of course we'll help. We share the same enemy. Excellent. We will fight together and reclaim Yafutoma in the Maga Sphere. Also, Lord Enrique, I heard that you defended my sister from Miraji. My family thanks you for your bra- How did he hear about that? We didn't even talk about it. I did only what is expected of a gentleman. Think nothing of it. Gosh. And Prince Dago, I know how you feel. My two have been exiled from my lands. You have not. You chose to run. I wish to change the views of my country by changing the world around it. And that is why I wish to aid you. From one exiled prince to another- You were never exiled! Also, the fleet that you are about to face, the Armada, was sent here by my mother, Empress Theodora. As a value and prince, it is my duty to stop them. This is not only your battle, it's mine as well. I understand. I will gladly accept your aid. Prince Enrique, you're a very noble man, much more noble than I. If a man such as yourself were to be at my sister's side, I would sleep well at night. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Dago. <laughs> and from the looks of it, the two of you wouldn't mind either. Now then, Vice, I need to prepare for the battle. Meet me at the port. We will depart for Yafutoma as soon as you are. All right. Anything cool over there? Oh. Where is it? I bet I need to be up uh, up here. Yeah, called that. Very good. Moonfish was caught. Anything over this side? No. Maybe. Nope. Alright. Get the fudge out of here. Alright, Cole. I think I'm going to wrap things up. So if you want to start, go ahead. And then I'll raid into you. I'm going to save at the next point that I can. And then just... i got to start waking up and being responsible. Lord Dago issued an order for all the Tenko to assemble. Smells like war. Yeah. War. War never changes. Who's this guy? What the fuck? Heh <laughs> battle. We haven't had a decent fight in a long time. The Armada? I don't know who they think they are, but they'll learn not to underestimate us. Crazy guy. The crazy guy. All right. <gasps> So we'll head back down here. We'll go this way. The we the tank blah 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 blah. Yeah da 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 da. We don't even care. Let's uh. Let's save. Let's save right here. Good spot to save. We'll come back down here and rotate out this file. Um, I might actually go back here after I'm done with the stream and after my kids go. I'm not going to restream it, but just go back and that one option that I missed or where I should have picked go hide, I might go back and get that. Just because I've already missed one and I don't want to miss any more. So I need to make up for that. And it all goes towards my squash, swash, swashbuckler rating. I almost said squash buckler. Damn it. But yeah, we saved Tenko Island. Made some progress. We're about to have some airship battles when we come back from this. So it should be a good time. Let's see if Cole started yet. 
He hasn't. Cole, you better hurry up. Get started. Otherwise, they can't read you. They can't read you. And you're not responding. You've been told. You have been warned. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll be back at it with the Monster Hunter collaboration tonight. Um, and then tomorrow, Banjo-Tooie I'm in the morning. We'll do Banjo-Tooie. And then when WarioWare comes in the mail, we'll do that. And we'll check that out. All right, everybody. Have a good day. I'll catch you next time. Skeletor, Maddie's gone, Jeff's gone, Cole, Tom, everybody take it easy. <laughs>